things, including your speed, that you can monitor from the cab. What are some of those controls we have sitting well, right next to us? The, the, the controls that we have, the ability we have, is first of, and foremost is to determine the size of the bale. And the size of the bale will be determined by uh, what moisture you're baling at. If you're making bale silage, this four foot bale is gonna be a lot heavier than what we're talking about today. So if you're doing custom baling, for, uh, for a, a, find out how he's gonna feed it. Is he gonna feed it with a tractor and a loader? Is he gonna feed it with a skid steer loader? You know, just what's gonna be, and don't exceed the capabilities that your customers have, um, you know, to, to handle and feed the bale. All of those adjustments are made from the cab of the tractor uh, on the monitor. So you simply uh, set some buttons to determine the density and in many in many models the, the size of the bale. Brent, what are, what are some of the reasons we may want to adjust the density of the bale either either tighter or softer? Well, it, if it's going to be um, like today's crop was very short and it's very dry and it's brittle and it's hard to get it moving, hard to get it rolling. So you may have to adjust your core size just a little bit to uh, make sure that you get the bale rolling and get everything going uh, so that you know you can go on and build a build a bale quickly and make a nice even bale. Um, you know the the other thing is like we said before density. We want to make sure uh, that well, today um, Aiden had to do a lot of weaving back and forth so we got even fill on this side of the bale and over there as well. Brent, something that comes up with uh, clients that I work with often is bailing on a slope. And when that bale comes out, we want it to bounce a little bit and rest. We don't want it to go rolling down the hill and through the fence. That's right. Yeah, that, that's that's one thing uh, about uh, naturally the, the, the round bale is um, when you're in your part of the world, if you drop it on the wrong spot, it's over the river and through the woods. Uh, you know, it, it's gone. So you want to be mindful of uh, um, maybe backing up and, and backing even or up up so that so uh, so that uh, uh, you know your bale is going to be uh, in a secure location. Some guys even have large hay pastures where they've gone out and they've made a flat spot. You know, for maybe they're going to do some bale storage there. So when you cut this thing loose, if it's bale silage, this thing's going to be weighing 17, 1800 pounds and it's gonna roll downhill, you're not gonna stop. It's going right through the fence, it's going right until it comes to the creek or the woods or whatever.